Hi, this is Susan. Today I'm going to tell you a story called A Squash and a Squeeze, and you'll get to help me tell the story. You'll recognize patterns that repeat over and over again, and you can join in. So, a little old lady lived all by herself, with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old man heard her grumble and grouse, There's not enough room in my house. Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped all around, knocking over the jug. Oh, crash. Oh, what shall I do? My house was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. I, if I have to tickle, there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat? What a curious plan. Ah. Oh, that was the the goat, also known as a sheep because we don't have a goat puppet. Ah, ah, ah. And if you squeeze it, ah, ah. it makes a noise. So in came the goat and started gnawing the curtains, then stepped on the egg that the hen had laid, and then sat down and gnawed on the table leg. <gasps> Glory be, said the old woman. What shall I do? My house was tiny for two, and it's titchy for three. The hen pecks the goat, and the goat has fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig. What a curious plan. Well, in came the pig who started chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. A larder is a cupboard where we keep food. Stop, I implore. My house was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. And even the pig in the larder agrees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow? What a curious plan. The cow charged straight at the pig and then jumped on the table and started dancing a jig. Oh, heavens alive, said the old lady. My house was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm down on my knees. My house is a squash and a squeeze. Wise old man, won't you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. But she opened the window and out flew the hen. Already it's feeling bigger again. She opened the door and out went the goat and the pig. And she huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. <gasps> My house was weeny for five, but it's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble. There's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And she was then full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. Her house was not a squash and it was not a squeeze. Yes, she was full of fun and frolics and fiddle dee dees. It wasn't a squash and it wasn't a squeeze. 
And that's the end of the story. Thank you for helping me to tell it. If you would like to see the pictures in the book that mm -hmm. Axel Scheffler drew, you can look on YouTube for a squash and a squeeze, and you'll be able to follow along as others read you the story. Bye.